Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're doing something a little bit new, and this gun is unloaded. This is a CVA Scout, and this is in 4590. Now it originally was a 4570, and Wayne Chapman had it uh, re rechambered to 4590. So we're going to shoot it in the 4590 and see if it does give us any extra power and if it has any. Uh, any extra velocity to the 4590 over the 4570 and so most people know about what the 4570 does let's see what the 4590 does we're going to shoot it across the chronograph and uh we have a variety of bullets we have some extreme defenders we have a 300 grain remington uh, ho uh hollow point and so we're going to shoot it into some water jugs across the chronograph and see what they'll do so let's get set up and see what this bad boy will do. It's got a muzzle brake on it. And I think he said it has a recoil reducer in the butt, but I'm not sure about that. Maybe his other gun. He has multiple guns and he's always talking about them to me, so I might get it confused. Probably not. This doesn't look like it has room for a mule kick reducer. But it is a neat gun and we're gonna set up and shoot it. This is a Bushnell red dot and see what it does to try to hit that uh metal plate which is armor it's ar500 but i don't know where it's going to hit because i've never actually shot his gun before so i don't know one yeah okay i see the red dot okay oh man i hope this don't kick too hard It hit the metal plate and it blew stuff all over the place. Let's go see what it did. I think it went through it. I think it went through it. It's got three holes in it now. This one here, this copper hole, is going to be that 4590 zooming right through that there, five, AR-500. We're going to shoot down there and see what happens down there too. So we're going to shoot, no, we're going to shoot the 300 grain, uh, we're shooting the 300 grain Remington bullet. This is just how these bullets compare to a 4570, just for comparison. I'm going to take them off there. They're getting kind of hot. And we're going to try to shoot that same plate. Didn't really have any signs of pressure. I hit high, kind of high, so I'm going to aim a little bit lower this time. I hit the plate again. I think it might have knocked another hole in it right underneath the other hole. Let's go check it out and see what the velocity was with that 300 grain bullet. As you can see, we got one more bullet hole in it. Right underneath the other one, that one there is a new one. Now we're going to try the 400 grain bullet, see what it'll do. Oh yeah, it had a little bit more recoil. Not too bad, not too bad really. These cases are ejecting right out of there. They don't show any excessive pressure. Let's go check it out and see what it did. As you can see, there's another hole in there. They're knocking right through that steel armor plate real good. All right, going to shoot through those water jugs and see what kind of carnage it creates. With a 200 
and 25, uh, 250 grain cutting edge bullet. I'll give you a good look at these cutting edge bullets. They're pretty spectacular. Got a really good hollow point and they are very, very devastating. Because we really need to get this centered up. Hopefully this won't hurt. And it didn't. Well, if we look at that first jug, it blew it apart pretty good. Blew this here jug apart pretty good. There's the bottom of that one. Uh, it's kind of veering over to the side a little bit on that one. We may have lost it, but it come through that one toward the center. It come through that one. And it stopped in this one. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six stopped in the sixth jug. Yep. And here's what we got left of it. Now on the first jug, it will it will separate. The petals will separate, and in the remainder part which this is one of the petals, they're pretty big and they do a lot of damage. The remainder part will continue penetrating on through whatever game animal you're shooting at. Okay, if we reorganize these jugs, it actually went, I found one more jug. So we got this one, it's blown all to pieces. This one here, it come in here, or it come in here, which I don't know for sure. But it could have, this could be the devastating, yeah, this is probably where it come in. See all these little pieces where it was coming apart? It probably would have stopped in that jug as far as the other pieces. And then there's going through that one, and then that one, and that one, and then that one, and then stopping in this one. I don't know what you guys thought about this scout, but I feel like it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, CBA really did build a good quality gun here and it made a good platform to make a 4590 out of and this 4590 really it, I think it produced more power than uh, the 4570 let me know what you guys think down there in the comments uh, it didn't really it didn't really kick that bad at all in fact I was very surprised at the uh, lack of recoil that it actually had compared to other guns that I have shot in 4590. Let me see, it's, I didn't weigh it, but it has a really hefty barrel on it. And you know it, I wish it'd flink out the shells like some of the other guns, but it don't. But that cartridge has no signs of uh, overpressure. It just, it just really, you know, fired it and sent it down range and seems to be accurate. Uh, Wayne had got some really good groups out of this gun before. He had it uh, converted to 4590. We may, if you guys are interested, we may shoot a group before we send it back to him and just see what kind of groups it has now after he had it converted to 4590. And yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see me shoot with this scout, let me know because we'll, we'll blast away at something. But you saw how it went right through that uh, AR 500 it just popped right through it like it was butter so I don't know just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would be interested in seeing me shoot with it and until next time God bless each and every one of you I'll see you on the next one